This is module 11 about the chi-square test. In this video, we'll look at example one on page 207 and the group work question on page 208. You should also read through pages 205 and 206 where they give an example of the goodness of fit. This example is the independence test and then the group work example will be another goodness of fit test. So this data looks at the difference between alcohol risk for firefighters who participated in the 9-11 rescue versus firefighters who did not participate in the 9-11 rescue. And so if you calculate the proportions, you can see there's a difference. Um, the question we're going to investigate is, are alcohol-related problems among New York firefighters associated with participation in the 9-11 rescue? Step one is to state the hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that there is no difference between the firefighters and first responded, responders who participated in the 9-11 rescue and those who did not participate in the rescue. Our alternative hypothesis says there is a difference between the firefighters and first responders who participated in the 9-11 rescue and those who did not participate in the rescue. So in this case, because our alternative hypothesis says difference and not greater than or less than, we know that we would write this with a not equal to symbol. So the data is collected in the table and we would type this data into the calculator. We're gonna run here test C, the chi-square test. So this is what's known as an independence test and you have to put the data in the matrices. So there are directions in OLI module 11.2 and I've also uploaded the directions for how to do that. So when we calculate this out, we get a chi-square value of 12.6617 and a p-value of 0 0.000373. So we see this is a high chi-squared value. The chi-squared is kind of like the z-score or the t-value, where the higher it is, the further it is out. So the p-value is very low, so we're not surprised to see the very high chi-squared value. Step four is to state our conclusion. So using the TI calculator, we calculate a p-value of 0 0.000373 a value so small that it is essentially zero. This means it would be almost impossible to obtain data like those observed, or anything more extreme, just by chance. In other words, if risk of alcohol problems and participation in 9-11 rescue were not related. This provides very strong evidence against the null hypothesis, and we can conclude that the risk of alcohol among New York firefighters and first responders is significantly related to the participation in the 9-11 rescue. So this was, again, the independence test, test C. We had a small p-value, so we do have evidence against the null hypothesis. And we conclude that there is a relationship related to participation in the 9-11 rescue. Now let's look at page 208, the group work question. So in this test, we're going to use the chi-squared goodness of fit test. And this is similar to your lab assignment problem, so I'll walk through this one on the calculator for you. So this shows opinions of people uh, in party affiliations compared by cell phone only sample and a landline sample. So we want to answer the question, is there a difference in the party affiliations between cell phone users and landline users? And we're going to use the data and the table to investigate. So our first step is to state the hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that there is no difference between the cell phone only party affiliations and the landline party affiliations. And then our alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference and that at least one of these party affiliations is not evenly distributed. Remember for chi-squared we're checking in this case three different party affiliations. So if we have difference in just one of these party affiliations we'll be able to say that it's not evenly distributed. So let's go through how to type this data into the calculator. So if we open up our TI calculator and we go to stat, we want to edit our list. And I put in list one the cell phone only data and in list two the landline data. When we run the chi-squared goodness of fit test like this, we don't need to convert it to proportions. So just put in the numbers as is. Then we go to stat arrow right to test, and we're going to arrow down to the chi-square goodness of fit test. If you're on an older TI calculator, 
you won't be able to have the goodness of fit test. You might only have test C. So you can um, check out a calculator in the math lab to run the goodness of fit test. So our observed data, that's the cell phone only users, is in L1. Our expected data, the landline users, are in L2. Because we have three different rows, our degrees of freedom are two. Degrees of freedom are always one less in the row. And then if we go ahead and calculate, we get a chi-squared value of 5.5517 or 18. And we have a p-value of 0 0.0623 if we round it. Step four is to state a conclusion. Using the TI calculator, we calculate a p-value of 0 0.0623, a value that is slightly above significance level 0 0.05. So we say that this is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Our conclusion is that there is not a statistically significant difference between the party affiliations of cell phone only users and landline users.